61A lecture number 14, announcements. The MAPS project is due tomorrow. That's the announcement. You can get a bonus point for finishing today. There's a project party tonight, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in 247 Quarry Hall. We'll have extra staff available to help you out. Since I have so few announcements, I thought I'd tell you about something exciting that's happening in the world of computer science. Google just published a paper describing their new neural machine translation system. This is a different approach to translation, still fully automatic, but incorporates information about the text being translated in a different way than what they did before. And what you see in this chart is for several language pairs where there's lots of data available, lots of human translations to learn from, they measured the translation quality of three different ways of translating. The old system that they had in production for a long time, which they've incrementally improved over the years, a little bit with my help, um, and then they asked humans to translate some sentences as well, that's the orange bar. And the brand new system, the green bar, you can see is approaching human level accuracy in terms of human judgments of translation quality. So they just showed translations to humans and said, please rate uh, one from each of these three categories on a scale of zero to six, where these were rated by bilingual speakers who got to see the original sentence being translated. Now these probably aren't the best human translations you could possibly get. And um, these aren't all the sentences in English that they evaluated. They only focused on some Wikipedia sentences and some news articles. But the point is that the gap between what a human generates and what a machine can generate has closed quite a bit using this new technology called neural machine translation. Now you might look at this chart and say, well, human translators are out of business. And I don't really think that's true. Um, so if you look at what happens when you actually use this system, which they've released in production for Chinese English, um, you can see that it's still not perfect. So here's an article written about what just happened in the world. Uh, the headline is Google Translate turned in Britain for the first time using neural machine translation technology. I'm not sure what Britain is doing there. Um, in Chinese statement translated into English as an example, Google Nerve machine translation GNMT technology will be coded as a group of Chinese sentence vectors. Each vector represents the current meaning of the sentence read. After reading the whole Chinese sentence began the translation of the decoding process, generating a progressively every read English words until the output of complete sentences. Okay, so it's not perfect, but you can kind of understand what's going on, especially if you know how neural machine translation works. That's a reasonable explanation of it. So I just wanted to share this exciting piece of news because it's a, an important moment in the history of machine translation, which is a problem people have been working on since the 40s and 50s. And now finally, we're getting really nice quality results.